let us move on to section 2 which was integer type which was containing integer type problems and there was no negative marking plus 3 for the correct answer. Now, what is given here is a set S which is containing elements from 1 to 6 and what is given we have to select uh, A and B, A and B are two independent events such that the elements in A will be greater than B. So, let us see how this can be done, a question on the selections. So, now let us say for A, we are going to select G elements and for B, we are going to select I elements. Now, for selecting B, it is 6 CI at any time and for selecting A it is 6 C J. Now, both are independent so we are multiplying the given selections and it is also given that I is to be greater than 1 and J will be greater than I because the number of element in A is greater than number of elements in B and both has to be less than 6. Now, summing this series, you know it well, if you sum this series, it will be definitely sigma 6 C k whole square where k is going from 1 to 6 minus it is 6 C k whole square where k is again going from 1 to 6 and this is completely divided by 2 and you know the value of this, this is 2 raised to the power 6 minus 1 and so the value of this you know it, you can calculate it easily, it is 12 C 6 minus 1 whole divided by 2. So this value if you calculate it right, the value will be 1 5 2 3. So 1 5 2 3 is the correct option. Let us move on to the next problem. So here is the next problem, the question from definite integral. The integral of 3 under root cos theta upon under root cos theta plus under root sin theta whole raised power 5, 0 to pi by 2. This problem will include a very important property as we have learned that a to b fx dx is equal to a to b f of a plus b minus x dx. So, definitely the value of the definite integral will not change. Now, let treat this as i. Now, applying this property 0 to pi by 2 here a is 0 and b is pi by 2. So, a plus b is pi by 2, pi by 2 minus theta this will become sin theta and this will become again sin theta and this will become cos theta whole raised to the power 5 d theta. Now, if you add this i and this i, you can see in the numerator we will have 3 times under root cos theta plus under root sin theta. So, this will not change to 3 upon under root sin theta plus under root cos theta whole raised to the power 4 d theta again integral from 0 to pi by 2. So, this is equal to 2 i. Now, here we have a very important step. If you take, if you take common under root cos theta here, this will lead to, you will get cos square theta outside this bracket and this will become secant square theta. So, note what I have done, I have taken this common that is under root of cos theta, I have taken outside and this will become under root tan theta plus 1 whole raised to the power 4, I am taking 3 here. So, 2 i by 3 is equal to this. Now, an important substitution will work here that it substituting tan theta is equal to t square. The derivative of tan theta will be secant square theta and this can be easily integrable now here. So, the value of i from here will be 1 by 2 or this is equal to 0.5. So, let us move to the next problem. 
again a problem from determinant but actually here the problem is more related to the binomial it is the sigma sigma k we can we can summation we can do summation of this it will be n into n plus 1 by 2 and the summation of this term you can notice here this is the derivative of the binomial expansion so you know it well if you differentiate you know this is equal to sigma k is equal to 0 k to n n c k x raised to the power k so if you differentiate both the side you will get k n c k the summation of this and that will come out to be n 2 raised to the power n minus 1 now again looking at this term this is again the derivative of this twice first we have to differentiate it we will get k here then again we have to multiply with x on both the side then here again differentiating we will be getting k square n c k so this will be equal to n into n plus 1 2 raised to the power n minus 2 and finally this one this one is a easier one by substituting x equal to 3 this will give you 4 raised to the power n so putting all the values here we have this determinant as n into n plus 1 by 2 and here it is n into n plus 1 whole raised to the power 2 raised to the power n minus 2 and here it is n into 2 raised to the power n minus 1 and finally this is 4 raised to the power n equal to 0. Now it is given that value of this determinant is 0 and when you solve this determinant the value of n from here you will get is equal to 4. Now what we have to calculate we have to calculate the value of this term that is the sigma k is equal to 0 to 4 now n here is 4 it is 4 c k upon k plus 1 now this can easily be converted to 1 by 5 if you open this up this will give you 5 c k plus 1 where k is going again from 0 to 4 now the summation of this is equal to 1 upon 5 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1 which is again equal to 31 by 5 and this is equal to 6.20 so this is the answer for this problem again a uh, slightly a different one although the question was less of the determinant but it was more of the binomial theorem let us move on to the next question.